Okay, today we're going to get the cylinder put on that saw, run it, uh, do some test cuts, do some dyno run, see what good we've done with it. Towards the end of this video, uh, I believe there will be a surprise in there for us. Uh, I didn't say a pleasant surprise, did I? Stick around, we'll uh, see what we got. Well, been over helping a buddy build a barn for a few hours, so I assume the gasket maker set up. We're going to try a starter. It needs leaned out, but it's fresh build. We're gonna let her bump. Let her go through a heat cycle or two. I'd say we've not built rings in. First dyno run after porting it. Same bar, same chain. I did just touch it up though because I've been cutting firewood with this chain a little bit, running this saw in. We'll get our comparison cuts here if it'll start slowing up on the high jet at idle. cylinder dyno run we're gonna go back just to recap on what it was stock timing numbers were terrible about 160 or 100 120 some duration on the intake 93 on the exhaust with the base gasket uh, before any modifications uh, pretty pretty sorry my dyno takes about a foot pound and a quarter when it spun up, so it wasn't able to spin up past about 11, 11 5 ish. And we only made 2.58 horsepower. So we uh, boarded the saw and we went up quite a bit. We was up 3.2. Uh, matter of fact, it stretch out farther here. 
13, uh, 13 to 11 was what I could get it to with a foot pound and a half of torque, give or take. Uh, but yeah, it, it done considerably better, but so there, there's what you'll see on a comparison. It, it done considerably better. The red line is stock, no modifications at all, base gasket, just timing numbers was just out of the package. The blue line is after porting it some, uh, not going too extreme, but porting it and uh, cutting a little off the base, getting the squish set down. Uh, should have made it pretty decent saw, but it still didn't do as good as I thought it should. Uh, compare that to what it was stock. This is a 44.7 millimeter. Stock was 44 millimeter, and I made the uh, timing numbers awful similar to stock. Opened up the transfers a little bit, uh, smoothed stuff out. I thought I made it pretty decent close to stock, uh, but you can see here the blue line again is the aftermarket big bore that I ported theoretically and a guy wants to think man he'd sure make it better than stock I still have not reached stock horsepower yet and I'm scratching my head awful hard trying to figure it out well we got it figured out we pulled out the endoscope put it down the cylinder I run the endoscope in the cylinder and this is the first thing I see that's probably all oh, three sixteenths wide. That'd be three or four millimeters, I guess, probably something like that. Uh, just guessing and deep. Uh, I'd say I got a piece of carbon out of the muffler. I thought I had it cleaned out good. Must not have ruined the cylinder due to it. Uh, you'll you probably can't see them, but there's about seven scratches around there, deep enough to catch a fingernail in. Uh, it's hard to run an endoscope around in there and get it pointed just where you want, but we wasn't building compression. Never never did start feeling like it was seating the ring, so I put the endoscope down there in the sparkler hole, and that's what we come up with. Now, I want you to look right over here. This is this is where I filed the corner of that uh, transfer off, or the piston off, because it was blocking part of the transfer, so I put an angle on that so it would uh, <clears throat> tend to direct the air charge towards the intake side and you can see it was meeting in the middle there's just a little bit of carbon on both sides of the wash pattern it was meeting right there uh, that's not a scratch that's a reflection right there there's just a black spot on the pistons all there is I'll let that roll just a second you can see that there you go the corner of that piston where I filed it off before that block lower part of that transfer uh so it looks like we get to do this all over again well i didn't want to sandbag you too hard but i did want to show the video you can see i'm the same place i was in the beginning because well we've done run this all uh done run the endoscope down it appreciate you guys sticking around uh if you like the video mash that button if you haven't consider subscribing uh if i if i earned it like it if i didn't no it's all right um, maybe watch another one or two if you don't care. Uh, I'll give you a close-up view of this. What the inside of the cylinder looked like. Uh, to, to that right, right in there. If you're seeing what I'm seeing, that there's the big mark, and I believe that was probably the first. I believe that was probably a first piece of carbon out of the exhaust. Is what I'm guessing. And I think that went up, broke that up, and there's seven, total of seven scores in there that's deep enough to feel with my fingernail. So, we got us a new piston. We got us a new piston and cylinder ordered. Uh, it's sitting right here. Next video will be uh, comparing the pistons that are different. Stick around and check that out. Like I say, like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do there if you enjoy this kind of thing. Um, I got higher hopes for this next cylinder, so uh, I think it's a little better than this one. And it's still an aftermarket Chineseium one, but that's where we're at.